So today we are going to solve a problem related to the previous video which was on projectile motion. If you have not watched that video, I would like to suggest you to click here and watch that video first. So in today's problem, we have two balls thrown from a point at the same time. One of them was thrown vertically and the other was thrown at 60 degrees from the horizontal. The initial velocity of each of the balls was 25 meters per second. Now we have to find the distance between these two balls 1.7 seconds after their launch. Let us assign names for these balls, say B1 and B2. Ball B1 is thrown vertically and ball B2 is thrown at 60 degrees from the horizontal. Now, ball B1 will have no movement in horizontal direction. So, we have to calculate only the distance it moved vertically, experiencing an acceleration against its movement, which is the acceleration due to gravity, with an initial velocity of 25 meters per second in vertical direction within the time span of 1.7 seconds. After knowing all of this, we know that ball B1 is following one dimensional motion. And we have three basic equations for one dimensional motion. Based on the information we have, we can easily choose the second equation. Since in the second equation, we have distance as a function of initial velocity, acceleration, and time. So the height at which the ball B1 will be after 1.7 seconds can easily be calculated as follows. The problem for ball B2 is not as simple as it was for ball B1. So you have to pay a little more attention. Remember, that the second ball was thrown at an angle of 60 degrees from the horizontal. So it is obvious that it will have a component along vertical direction and also along horizontal direction. Now to get the value of these components, if you remember my last video, you might have already guessed that we need to draw a right angle triangle with an angle of 60 degrees. If the hypotenuse of that triangle is representing the velocity along the direction which is 60 degrees from the horizontal, the perpendicular of that triangle will be the vertical component and the base will be the horizontal component. The vertical component will be its velocity in vertical direction which will experience an acceleration equal to the acceleration due to gravity against its movement. So, the height it will reach in 1.7 seconds can again simply be calculated using second equation for motion in one dimension as done with the ball B1. To calculate the horizontal displacement, we have to keep in mind that in all such cases we neglect the air friction. Now the only thing that we need to do is to get its displacement in a straight line without any um, uh, obstacle or without any deceleration or acceleration in its way in 1.7 seconds which will be the component of the velocity along horizontal direction times the time which is 1.7 seconds. So after this we will try to calculate the distance between these two balls. The vertical distance between them will be the difference of heights of these balls and the horizontal distance between them will be the horizontal distance covered by ball B2. Since we already know that ball B1 have its movement only in vertical direction. And there we go. We again have a right angle triangle. 
and the hypotenuse of this right angle triangle will be the distance between these two balls which can easily be calculated using Pythagoras theorem and this is your answer so you can try hitting like share and subscribe buttons to have more of these videos thanks for watching